Hey everyone, I am here working on the Lady Grey Sew Along, and what we're doing right now is we're working on piece B, which is the side front, and we're interfacing it with this sew-in um, hair canvas, which is used in tailoring, and it um, it's thin and flexible, but it has it does have some stability to it. So what we're doing is we're permanently basting this to the outer fashion fabric, and I've already started a line of basting right here. Um, and this is called uneven basting stitch, and you'll see why in just a minute. And I've marked my basting lines in this pink chalk uh, about two inches away from each other, up this piece, vertically up the piece. So I've got my thimble on, I've got my um, thread. I This is silk thread. It matches the fashion fabric, um, and I just ran it through a bit of beeswax to keep it from tangling. So basically... I'm going to start on this lower end here. And the thing to remember with this basting stitch is to go long, short, long, short, long, short. So I'm going to take a long stitch first, this is about half an inch, and then take a little tiny stitch, which I just think of as a little bite. So, you see that? Long, short. I'm just going to repeat that up here. Take my half an inch, take my little bite, pull it through half an inch, little bite. So when I take that little bite, I'm just getting a little tiny piece of that fashion fabric and not going through to the outer side. Um, this is really easy with my fabric because it's a tweed and so it's, it has so much texture that um, you, can't, you can't see any of these stitches anyway, but if your fashion fabric is very smooth, like a melt-in or a flannel, just be really careful to only get a thread on the back of that fabric with your little bite. So I hope you can see what I'm doing here. It's just half long stitch, half an inch, tiny bite. Long stitch, tiny bite. And that's it. I'm just going to keep going up like that, and that is going to hold this hair canvas to the side piece permanently. Okay, thanks guys. I hope that helped. Okay, I'm doing a close-up here of this stitch in case you couldn't see it on that last video. So here, so you see I've got my long stitch, tiny bite. So I'm just going to start with the long stitch. Oh, this is really hard looking through the camera. <laughs> okay, long stitch, and then I'm just taking this little bite. Does that make sense? Long, tiny bite. So basically you just think of it as taking these tiny bites about half an inch away from each other. Oh, this is making me dizzy, guys. I hope that helps. It's not very straight. Um, there we go. So there, that's an uneven basting stitch. This is a permanent basting stitch, so you want to knot your thread and knot it off so that it stays in there. Okay, bye.